Okay, I'm gonna put this side by side. I want you to f understand something, okay? So that is a JDAM called on. So there's literally no pushback for any of this because obviously none of the LSF streamers know anything. And then this is like Emma's line to me. I wish I had your confidence. I can't imagine sitting here and like pretending to give you guys like good analysis. I, bro, I don't know what a missile looks like. I don't know what a rocket looks like. I don't know what any of this sh I've never seen any of this in my entire life. I've never seen any, I can't imagine be like, okay, hold on, let me check this out guys. Oh, I can definitely tell you the ballistics of that. Oh, for sure. Oh, this is a super normal. Oh, 100%. That's a rocket interception with a JDAM missile coming on the vertical trajectory. Like, and I know Hassan doesn't know this. Sh I know Hassan has no f idea. Vosh, this is misinfo. The new footage from the live stream happened at the exact same time the explosion happened. What? IDF didn't bomb the hospital. Change title. IDF didn't bomb the hospital. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Yes, it f did. You f piece of sh Yes, it absolutely did. You want to know why I know that? Because they bombed that same hospital two days ago. And also on top of that, they told that hospital and six other hospitals in the Gaza region to evacuate. F you. F you. You genocidal scumbag. You have no dignity. You do not have an ounce of dignity inside of your soul. Terrible that the people died, but I encourage you to look into where Hamas was firing. You f piece of sh you garbage, monstrous scumbag. You garbage, monstrous scumbag. You said IDF didn't bomb the hospital, and then you said it did. But Hamas was firing rockets from it in the same two-minute time frame. So why did you lie at first? Huh? Why did you lie? How can you live with yourself, you genocidal piece of sh You have no evidence. Stop concluding. What is this? What am I looking at? Rip. Oof, they lit that fucking thing up. Look at the traces. This one is literally Arma 3. It's fake. It's Arma. Oh, God damn it! What am I looking at with my own two eyes? What are you looking at? I have no evidence? Don't believe your eyes? What do you mean? Does that strike you as a Misfire, uh, this will not be verified inevitably further. It, we've already done the verification. There's already enough, there's already enough evidence to 100% to show. Watch. Uh, whether it was the Islamic Jihad or the IDF uh, that bombed this hospital does not change the reality that Israel has bombed 22 other hospitals, including the hospital that we're talking about on Saturday and also 4,200 Palestinians have been ruthlessly slaughtered by Israel's ongoing bombing campaign, and they are still bombing. Make this make sense to me. If you are literally 100% certain you didn't do this, how the f turn around and then reveal information that contradicts itself? It makes no f sense. On Tuesday, the Gaza-based Palestinian Center for Human Rights said its investigation of shrapnel and other evidence led it to conclude that the blast was caused by an Israeli airstrike. This was a missile fired from an Israeli aircraft, said Raji Sorani, the director of the group, as he displayed pictures of what he said was a fragment showing the missile's serial number. Israel's Haaretz newspaper, meanwhile, cited unnamed Israeli defense officials saying the military's investigation had concluded that five were killed by an Israeli strike. Asked about the Haaretz story, the military said it was still examining the event. It said that throughout the latest round of fighting, it had targeted militant infrastructure and made every feasible effort to minimize as much as possible harm to civilians and civilian property. Now, that part is obviously bullshit. Okay? What is... Oh, this is... Oh, f from the... Uh, this is from uh, the... the uh, this is from 2022. Oh, f Regardless. Uh, the, the, the instance... Thoughts on Hassan Piker's subreddit leading a post showing the hospital explosion wasn't an IDF rocket? Yeah, I don't know what's going on with him. He's um, unhinged. It's not about three weeks from saying, can you bake six billion or six million cookies that fast though? Kind of. Remember, just remember, 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 remember. The Hassan and the lefties, well, the non-Muslim the non ones, um, the non-Arabic ones, that's not always true. 
Hassan and the lefties are not powered generally by anti-Semitism. They're powered by anti-Zionism, right? Their um, predisposition towards hating Israel and everything towards it comes from U.S. foreign policy, not their hatred of Jewish people. I, I don't know if it maybe it doesn't that distinction doesn't matter for some people, but I think it's pretty important. The concluders are going to be able to fall back to pointing at the New York Times, et cetera, to excuse them. Yeah. So here's something that I don't I don't know if it was always like this. Um, I'd be super curious in grilling the editorial people at the New York Times, the Washington Post. I don't think it's acceptable. Oh, actually, show me a headline. Here's what I re recall seeing. If I recall seeing this, this is pretty bad. Headline, hospital, um, like witnesses say hospital bombed 500 dead and then buried in the story reported by officials in Gaza. That headline on an American publication implies that there's been some third party verification there. Um, I thought I saw this on the New York Times. The fact that they would publish that headline without sticking the Hamas or the Gaza reported. Yeah, I think Reuters might have even done a similar thing. That is not good. Um, I feel like, again, and I understand this is hard, but people are so desperate to either be anti-Hamas terror attacks, which you should be, or anti-IDF killing civilians or oppression of Palestinians, you should be. They're like rushing to try to prove their virtue by showing the other side. Like, I've said this before and I'll say it again. There's nothing, um, there's nothing, you don't lose anything by waiting a while. Like you can just wait to report on what happened. Well, I guess, actually, I'm sorry, that was retarded. If you're a streamer, you can wait. I guess if you're a news org, you kind of live or die based on your reporting, but like, I think the British politicians earlier said it best. The media is trying to meet social media minute by minute on breaking news where instead they should admit they never will be able to focus on accuracy over speed. Yeah, that's like the thing. Or you can try to do it, but then you've got to look like me. You've got to cuck yourself out like me. You've got to be like, well, it's possible that this was important. And you've got to, you have to qualify the f*** out of everything. But you've got to be super careful with those headlines. Like, you're going to blackpill everybody on media so f hard, right? Whether it was the... The, the 40 decapitated babies was a bad look, especially for Biden to say that, um, because I don't think Biden had seen any videos or pictures of decapitated babies at that point. And now this like IDF bombs hospital as reported by Hamas. <laughs> like, this Caroline chick is unhinged. I heard that she just like basically repeats everything that, um, you, if apparently she just repeats everything Hassan says uncritically to like all the other LSF streamers. I was following the Reuters and AP feeds pretty closely. They seem to do a good job of reiterating that the health ministry is controlled by Hamas and that claims couldn't be independently verified, but not in the headlines. Yeah, I just I feel like that needs to be in the headlines. That's because I, I understand what, what you learn like in journalism school is probably different than like the real world. Or, or, hold on, let me qualify that. I remember when I was in high school, they said, make an interesting headline. The headline should just be a tension grabber. Then you put the meat in the story. Today, people only read headlines. So, I mean, I feel like... Um, yeah, I feel like you have to plan your headlines around people only reading those, <laughs> which sucks, but. You should read the geoconfirmed threat on the missile. I, I did read that. I read through a couple threads on people looking at it. It looks like, it, it really does look like a Hamas rocket malfunctioned, I think. the They said the motor malfunctioned or something. And then the missile, the rocket fell, blew up in a, um, and then it looks like it blew up once or twice in a, in a parking lot in a hospital. The 500 dead figure sounds insane. Personally, I'll make a, I'll make a prediction here. I'll, I'll, I'll be a little brave. I would be surprised if it was like 15 or 20 dead, unless this parking lot was like packed full of people. I, I don't know how you could ever kill more than 50 people in, in, in that parking lot. Destiny, does it not look like it was intercepted? Um, somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the way that the Iron Dome interceptions work is when the Iron Dome missile is close enough to the uh, rocket, the missile will explode and that'll detonate all of the explosive ordnance on the um, on the incoming rocket, I believe. So if you bl if the Iron Dome interception is successful, it shouldn't cause the rocket to uh, blow up once it hits the ground. Don't believe so. Also, um, yeah, I don't know if the inner I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can manually intercept or if you can intercept or if you can dynamically intercept rockets like out on the battlefield because the Iron Dome shouldn't be covering rockets into Gaza like that, right? 
It feels weird like just going live and being a hater, but I think like my, the biggest thing that I'm worried about is I'm worried that there's gonna be no accountability for all the reporting right now. Like these big streamers on the left are engaging in basically de facto like terrorism propaganda. I know that like we can meme about it because it's Palestine and we can meme about it because it's lefties and we can meme about it because they're on like family friendly platforms like Twitch, but like the, the Hassan stuff is unhinged. It's probably the most unhinged uh, mainstream alt media stuff I've seen like maybe ever, or like it rivals like Tim Pool. Like he's about that level, not about that level, he's at that level now. Um, no, he's not, I think he's worse. Because I think Tim Pool is a lunatic on Twitter, but at least when he's talking on his show, he tries to, like he's still conspiratorial, but he's like in his own way, but I, it just feels like Hassan, maybe I'm giving Hassan more credit because he's on my side. It feels like Hassan speaks with so much more credit on some of this, but then, yeah, Jesus. Sorry for the topic switch. Recently found my partner and I can't have natural born kids, so we need to adopt. I'm scared. I won't love the adopted kid the same as my own. Do you know any positive adoption stories? Um, I mean, if you can't, so oof, this is, okay, I'll do three things. So firstly, um, you can't do like in vitro fertilization or use like a surrogate mother. There are other things you can do if you're not able to have kids that you can look into. Some of them are kind of costly. The second one is if you've got friends that want to have like a kid for you or somebody else that wants to have a child. I don't know if you've seen the movie Juno. You can kind of do it that way sometimes. Or third, um, yeah, adoption is a possibility. Most parents, as mean as it sounds, don't want to adopt a child that's more than like a couple years old though because they don't want like a ruined kid, which is really sad, but... Thoughts on calling people like Hassan alt left? I think alt left is a cringe term. I don't, I don't like it. And it's not really alt left. He's just a tanky. I think you, there's already words to describe those people. They're just tanky. Hassan feels like he's a lot more definitive about shit. It's not hard to imagine Tim Pool at least entertaining and listening to the other side. Yeah. Hassan is a featured TwitchCon creator. Twitch will play favorites and won't ban him. Until, yeah, he's not going to get banned for any of this. I don't even think he should necessarily be banned. I'm not, I don't think he should be banned. I just wish there was like. One, it sucks that I'm not on Twitch, so there's literally no pushback for any of this because obviously none of the LSF streamers know anything. And then I don't know, are there any other big people that do politics on Twitch that are that get even like 500 concurrent viewers? Like, if you if you've been like this is just the whole narrative set on that site now. It's going to be I don't I haven't listened to this yet, but if you if you've been looking for a reason to stop pretending that you are a fan of Amy Schumer, here is your here is your reason this week. Okay, all right. Amy Schumer, you are allowed to say full-throatedly sucks. This woman has a career from stealing comics jokes. Just like her beloved nation of Israel, which stole Palestinians' land and lives. Okay? Apparently this girl is unhinged. Amy and Zionism, Zionist Israel, both have in common that they love to steal and then pretend otherwise. I know you personally don't think he should be banned, but if they ban Fuentes and similar, do you think Hassan is comparably bannable? Oh, I don't think Fuentes should be banned. I think that a platform that would ban somebody like Nick Fuentes though, would easily ban somebody like Hassan. Absolutely. If Fuentes is supposed to be banned on Twitch, then Hassan should easily be banned. I thought about making like a tweet earlier and like tagging them just to like stir shit up. Obviously he's never gonna be banned, but just like, virtue signal or whatever, but like, yeah, I don't know. It's actually, it's pretty, if I wasn't medicated right now, I'd be a lot more upset about it. Can you please explain what people mean when they say Gaza is like an open air prison or a concentration camp? It's hard to know what's true on this. Yeah, I don't know. I should look into this. I should do, once I get home, well, I hope, I hope it's still somewhat relevant so we can like research it. Cause I've gotten a lot of people arguing against like calling it like an open air prison or apartheid state or like concentration camp is a little brutal. The conditions aren't good, but also, for instance, like people will say things like, oh, Gaza is a genocide. They're being genocided. They're being genocided. They're being genocided. The population went from like 1 million to 2 million. I think of like, what, like 20 or 30 years? Is that, that's a very unsuccessful genocide. <laughs> like, um, but nothing gets in or out of the Gaza Strip. My understanding is nothing gets in or out without explicit Israeli approval. Like they've got like checkpoints everywhere and it is like cameras and everything you can't leave and it's blockaded. There's a blockade and an embargo, so you can't ship anything in or out. So, I mean, like, it's calling it the problem is that like calling it apartheid calling it prison calling it a country camp, it's it, it it's a bit reductive on what's a pretty complicated situation so yeah i don't know what did amy schumer even tweet here 
or story. An Islamic Jihad missile killed hundreds of innocent four minutes ago. Hundreds of innocent Palestinians in a hospital in Gaza. Many Western outlets published a propaganda lie, blaming Israel without fact-checking. Facts only reached the headlines an hour later. Fire the BBC News, New York Times, Sky News, CNN editors. Lies that stoke anti-Jewish hatred war. This, this is probably true. This is probably a measured tweet. This is most likely true at this point, I think. Um, how long ago is this? Ooh, I don't know if it was true nine or 12 hours ago or whatever, or 11 hours ago, but... Caroline is an idiot, but... I think because it feels like... It feels like because there were some people, like Bernie Sanders and Rashid Tlaib, because there were some people that, um, that gave measured takes on Israel-Palestine, because there were some people that gave measured takes on it, it seems like now they're trying desperately to virtue signal, like, whoa, 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 but I'm not, I'm not okay with the idea of killing everybody. Look, 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 they bombed, they killed a hospital, 500 people dead, right? They're like really desperate to jump in on the other side, which I think is obviously really cringe. I served in the relevant IDF unit. We don't intercept rockets that early above Gaza. It's a small place. Fragments of the enemy rocket and interceptor don't fall from the sky and are dangerous. Terrorists in Gaza have about one out of 10 rate of misfire from Gaza to Gaza. I saw it with my own eyes on the radar. The truly ironic thing is supposedly um, <clears throat> with your 1K views acting like a political streamer, Hassan owns you. Why is my kick chat so mean to me? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Listen. Um, oh shit, I just read a message. I was in the middle of saying something. Oh, um, no, I thought I remembered it, but I didn't. Oh, supposedly, the truly ironic part was supposedly this was a rocket that Hamas was firing from like one hospital <laughs> that went over another hospital and then malfunctioned and hit like, whew, not a good day. Am I crazy or everyone became pro a pro in Israeli-Palestinian conflict ever since two weeks ago? Yeah, but this is how it always goes, right? A new conflict. Like, two months ago, everybody was an expert on the difference between, like, sub submersives versus, or sub, not submissible, submersibles versus uh, fucking submarines and shit, right? It's just, that's the way of the world. Here's the true horror of the misinformation spread by Hamas and their simps is that there's U.S. and Israeli embassies around the world are being attacked under the presumption Israel leveled a hospital with the U.S. being okay. Yeah, is that true? That would be really sad if that's true. Um, I love the kicker kit this week. Listen, I've had to deal with a lot of drama going on. Keep in mind, this is the first time I've seen my wife in like fucking three months, okay? So fuck you guys that are posting my subreddit like, oh, he's retired, blah. <laughs> Listen, I'm married. I got relationships in the real world that I have to upkeep and shit, okay? Fuck you. This, um, this, I don't understand. So is, is Hassan's stream, I've been watching it, is Hassan's stream, does he just uncritically believe every single thing that comes out of the, out of Gaza? Like, does he just like, well, he just like, oh yeah, obviously it's true because. How much do you believe the human shield stuff? No, of course I don't believe the human shield stuff. What do you mean? What is it? I don't, I should have looked for full context of this, but I was so irritated when I saw this clip, I didn't even fucking bother. I was just so, like, what do you, what does he mean by this? Was there a greater context where he said, like, in some cases he doesn't believe it? Or, because, like, Hamas, they, their main headquarters, they operate out of hospitals. Hamas does this all the time. This is what they do. I don't even think they deny it. Like, I've told, what, what, no, that's ridiculous. There is no, even if I were to believe that they are, like, purposely fucking putting humans in front of rockets. Okay, it's ridiculous to actually shoot through the hostage. Also, that's not what human shield means. I know he knows this though, so there must be more context. Because there's, a human shield does not mean you actually have like got a shield of a human. It just means you're doing military operations around humans that would necessitate collateral damage to civilians if you were to be aggressed upon or counterattacked or whatever, right? That's a human shield. What the fuck are you saying? Apparently his entire fucking, 
his entire stream title yesterday was um, IDF bombed um, IDF bombed hospital 500 dead and there's just no evidence evolution of a headline New York Times edition Israeli strike kills hundreds in hospital Palestinians say okay this first headline is not actually surprisingly this first headline was not as bad as the, the Reuters one that I saw I thought I saw one from Reuters that was really bad at least 500 dead in strike on Gaza hospital Palestinians say at least 500 dead in blast at Gaza hospital Palestinians say Jesus Does anybody have the original Reuters headline? I was really surprised. Do you think Rashida Tlaib should be censored for her actions? Um, I, I don't know what she's done recently. I know a lot of people bring her out, but I haven't seen it. Hospital was bombed, by the way. This is 20 hours before the fucking hospital was bombed, by the way. Like, bro, what, it's got the music and everything. It's, I'm laughing, but I, I shouldn't be. It is truly some of the, mo this is like the lowest that I've ever viewed Twitch. Not that they give a fuck, or not that the platform even cares about itself. But this is like the lowest this platform has sunk when it comes to propaganda reporting in my entire life. Like, this is the equivalent of like looking at some like US, like World War II or like Vietnam War propaganda videos. The ch the children cleaning up trash? The children playing Ring Around the Rosie? And then his whole chat is like getting increasingly radicalized, increasingly misinformed, increasingly irate towards Israel. Like, fuck the IDF, I suck it. Like, Don't look away from this. These most of these children are fucking dead now. <laughs> he doesn't have any idea. Destiny, don't you push the Israeli narrative without question or evidence? Ignore the kidnapping of Palestinian children, but report on Israeli children. What do you? Do you watch any of my stream? If you think that, then knock yourself out, dude. Oh. I saw some of their body parts earlier when I was looking at the on-the-ground footage in the aftermath of the the fucking insane strike on the hospital. Yeah, Israel moved from it was Hamas to Islamic Jihad. Now they're saying Islamic Jihad blew it up, actually. Let's see. Rashida Tlaib. Israel just bombed the Baptist hospital, killing 500 Palestinians. Doctors, children, patients, just like that. We don't even know who died. How could you even... You have no idea. My... This is one of my favorite things. This is a little bit sociopathic, okay? But if you know somebody's lying, you never reveal that you know. You just let them continue to lie. One of the funniest things that liars do is when somebody's caught lying and you know it, but you keep asking the questions and they start to, like, invent details... <laughs> about like and you know the whole you're like oh you were at john's house last night right? you're like oh yeah john oh my god his dog was like so crazy to say blah, blah blah and you know that he like went to jane's house and it's like bro why are you just what are you doing now what is she saying here doctors children patients i mean it's a hospital i think that's a safe assumption why would you make any assumptions right now when you especially when you don't even know the hospital was bombed this is what happens when you refuse facilities he's trying to help de-escalate your war and destruction only approach has war and destruction only approach didn't has biden even i thought biden's statement so far have been pretty measured hasn't he made a couple statements about how civilian uh, death isn't acceptable on either side i feel like i've seen him make those statements am i wrong i'd have to go back and check the tweets i guess but and many pa um has opened my eyes and many palestinian americans and muslim americans like me we will remember where you stood that's really weird muslim americans that is an incredibly fucking bizarre statement to make um because it's that's really weird i would be super uncomfortable seeing that that is an unhinged statement i could understand palestinian americans but muslim americans that like plays into the uh that white nationalist uh foreign invader arc really well jesus
Did you see the Canadian dude threatening Jews at university and then the cop showed up and now he's in shit? Nope, but good for him. Um... Does anybody have, there were two really good threads that I read earlier. Does anybody have those threads about the detail, the, like the geo, the geo guesser, not geo guesser, the geo tracker locator stuff. Do you see Biden is going to Israel? Yeah, I think tomorrow, right? Hundreds killed in Israeli strike on Gaza, Palestinian officials say. Israeli airstrike on Gaza hospital kills more than five Palestinian, more than 500 Palestinian officials say. Unbelievable. He's there now? Oh, I thought he was going tomorrow. Maybe I read the statement earlier or something, I don't know. The time zones are fucking me all up. So keep in mind, okay, so these are just like Twitter threads and people that now supposedly this person has a pretty good track record of stuff like this and they're nonpartisan. Take that. I read that. I don't know that. I would never personally vouch for this, but. Geo confirmed Israeli Israel Palestine. A missile launched by Palestinian groups exploded mid air and one of the pieces fell on the Al, Al Ali Arab hospital's yard. Here's the coordinates. Before reacting, read our thread. Full recording from the Aj Mubashar feed. You can see the rocket, you can see the outgoing rocket fire some distance away. The rocket is intercepted in the air and breaks apart into shrapnel. I don't believe it was intercepted. I think it malfunctioned, but I think he'll get into that on this thread. But we can watch this video just so you see it. I can't accept a malfunction happened to land in a hospital, but that's just me. One, it wasn't a hospital, it was the parking lot. And two, um, Hamas rockets and rockets that come from this region do malfunction quite a bit. They're not, they're working like three tech levels behind um, as like the Israeli missiles and shit. And then I think that's the parking lot on fire or whatever. Analysis by Hamas Piker. Oh, does he analyze it? Hold on. Two explosions are... <laughs> Why does he do this? Hasn't this guy been tricked by like Arma 3 footage like multiple times at this point? Here. Okay, I'm gonna put this side by side. I want you to f understand something, okay? So that is a JDAM called on. Here. Is he even looking at the right video? This was a Jackson Hinkle meme. Two explosions are seen. One smaller one and one perhaps a rocket launcher and a big one on the hospital. He was comparing the sound? Why would they exaggerate the death number so heavily if they knew it was themselves? Well, they probably didn't know, or they did, and they're just trying to pin it on Israel because they know a lot of outlets will pick this up and run with it regardless. Like, Hamas almost always looks like the bad guy here, and I don't think, um, I'm being a bit presumptuous, and I could be wrong, but I don't think that Hamas is here to play like the politics optics game. Like, I don't think Hamas has like a political strategy in mind where they're like, oh, um, let's do like a fake attack here, the fake bomb here, we'll misreport this to outlets and then hopefully enough people, like they don't think like that. I think they just lie with impunity because they don't give a fuck because they're like on some holy war crusade against like the oppressive regime of Israel. Like that's, I think that's where the, like the thoughts start and stop. They're not, I don't think these are like a politically effective group <laughs> that are trying to like manipulate the media. They just report every, anything the fuck they want that thinks it'll be bad for Israel, whether it's confirmed or not, whether it'll be confirmed or not, whether they think it'll um, look bad on them or not. I don't think they give a fuck. Um, yeah. This is bad info. Yeah, I don't know where I don't know where this is coming from. 
This doesn't look like the same as the thing that we saw earlier. And also, there's no sound. I don't know what the fuck's happening there. But the hospital explosion was greater and also uh, did not uh, did not follow after uh, rocket interceptions. I would... This is like Emma's line to me. I wish I had your confidence. I can't imagine sitting here and like pretending to give you guys like good analysis. I, bro, I don't know what a missile looks like. I don't know what a rocket looks like. I don't know what any of this sh I've never seen any of this in my entire life. I've never seen any, I can't imagine me like, okay, hold on, let me check this out, guys. Oh, I can definitely tell you the ballistics of that. Oh, for sure. Oh, this is a super normal, oh, 100%. That's a rocket interception with a JDAM missile coming on the vertical trajectory. Like, and I know Hassan doesn't know this sh I know Hassan has no f idea. So the, um... Jesus, sorry. Other footage. Independently, they came to the same conclusion. The above footage is showing a rocket fail and breaking up into two pieces, one falling on the hospital. Better POV. And then they have a ton of pictures linked here. <clears throat> and they geolocate like a fuck ton of images to confirm like what fell and what was going on. I don't know if they speak about it anymore here. There were a couple ones with um, like experts on like weaponry talking about, I think how like the, it could break up and then there's like propellant and there's like two explosions or some bullshit, but I don't, I don't know. Some people reacting with, there are no groups with such big missiles slash rockets. Um, example, geolocation of Palestinian Islamic Jihad with batter three rockets. So they do have these rockets, I think, right? Islamic Jihad denied that any of its rockets were involved in the hospital blast, saying it did not have any activity in or around Gaza City at the time. Note, a rocket barrage was launched and a, and a video, but maybe not by Islamic Jihad. Important note, our conclusions are based on our geolocations. This doesn't mean that they are the truth, just what we think is highly likely based on our geolocations and logic slash reason. We are geolocators, not official investigators. Do not take this conclusion as proven fact. Be sure what really happened, uh, different official investigations are needed. But also, oh, the, um, again, I don't want to say, like, I know what a crater from a missile looks like. But um, people are saying that this is the totality of the damage, basically. You can see, like, it's a parking lot that was blown up. And there's, like, the crater for the bomb is, like, here. That's it. Now, maybe missiles don't leave big craters here. But, like, this was the damage. It was this parking lot. It wasn't, an, it wasn't a hospital. It wasn't an entire hospital. The hospital actually suffered no structural damage whatsoever. It was just this parking lot. Now, were there 500 children and doctors and patients' bodies piled up here sleeping outside peacefully? Maybe, but don't know that, but. There was a wedding happening in that parking lot. Wait, that has to be a troll message. Never mind. I don't know why I read that. Destiny, um, <clears throat> there's a thread I saw where there were like 350 people killed in Iraq or Afghanistan by us, and holy moly, there was insanely more damage. Yes, there was a thread that had three pictures of different other types of like car bombs and shit, and I think missiles that had gone off, and you can see what the damage looks like when hundreds of people are killed. It's extensive. For what it's worth, this doesn't look or sound quite like an airstrike using the typical IEF 1,000 pound or 2,000 pound JDAM Mark 80 series to me. Incoming projectile sounds like it's under power. And the explosion frames visible look like largely propellant fire rather than HE detonation. Is that high yield explosive detonation? What is HE? It's in this thread. Oh, hold on. Oh, high explosive, sorry. <clears throat> 
Now that day is broken and we're getting better evidence, I'm willing to share some preliminary thoughts on the Al Al Ali hospital explosion. The photos of the scene are, to me, not consistent with an airstrike and are not consistent with claims that 500 plus people were killed. So this was the damage, this parking lot. You can see where the cars were kind of torched. I guess this is infrared? Looks like this. Oh, oh no. It is a... What's up, buddy? Well, um, so yeah, if you actually look at the explosion in the parking lot, it's hard for me to believe that 500 people are killed. Um, unless, for whatever reason, there were, there was like a large gathering in the parking lot. Like they would have had to have all been right there next to the explosion. Yeah, and, I agree. I think that's what most people are saying. Like 500 people in that small of an area with no survivors is highly unlikely. It seems like almost impossible that that could be the case. Yeah. So I think this is being misreported to begin with. And if you're talking about a 2,000 pound explosive, uh, there would be a crater. Yeah. There's, there's no crater. People are showing measurements of what craters typically look like too. And yeah, this one is not as large as we would expect. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and I mean, there's video, and there's the video footage from Al Jazeera as well, which uh -huh. I think conclusively proves this is clearly a Palestinian rocket that caused this explosion. Like all the the pieces that we have right now fit together with that. Yeah, that seems to be the case. Um, yeah. Yeah, and what's fucking crazy is every single instance. Um, even when the evidence doesn't support it, um, people are just blaming, putting the blame on Israel, um, or they're giving Palestinians, well, not even Palestinians, they're giving Hamas the benefit of the doubt. And I, I came to a realization yesterday. It's because they're browner. Um, like... The only reason lefties are giving Hamas uh, so much sympathy and Palestinians so much more sympathy is because they're darker skinned. Uh, that L might like, be true no for some other parts of the world, but I think for the left in the United States, that's the loudest online. I think it's just generally because they stand in opposition to U.S. foreign policy. I don't think the skin color matters as much here. I, I don't know, man. Um, like, y when you look at the rhetoric... Um, you know, people will talk about how, oh, um, Israel has created the situation where, uh, you know, they, they've oppressed the Palestinian people, especially in Gaza, which I wouldn't say that's untrue. And I wouldn't say it's an untrue statement to say that Israel's contributed to further radicalization of groups like Hamas, shit like that. So they'll make this argument that, well, when you look at the, um, you know, the links in the causal chain, Israel is to blame for this sort of attack. Now, they won't use that same kind of logic when it comes to um, actions that Israel takes against Hamas. They won't say, okay, well, Hamas made this, did this attack, and now they're kind of paying for the repercussions because how would you expect, you know, people to react to that sort of situation? Um, so, like, like in every, when you're talking about every single fucking instance, like e even when it's unrelated to U.S. foreign pol policy, where Palestinians are given all of, you know, the sympathy, all of the benefit of the doubt. Um, and there's just this constant cope for not only Palestinians, but even Hamas, just a horrific terrorist group. Like, I've seen videos on LiveLeak of what Hamas does. They've made promotional videos where they just blow people's brains out with shotguns. Um, it, the only explanation is, like, from lefties, they're browner. Like, like they just give more sympathy to people who are darker skinned. Sure. I mean, I hear what you're saying, but I think it has more to do with like just being anti like U.S. interventionalism. But I mean, maybe the brown yeah. thing has a little bit to play into it. But okay. All right, I'm going back to reading these. Well, I, okay. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. Take care, dude. Hello. Bye. The photos of the scene are, to me, not consistent with an airstrike and are not consistent with claims that 500 plus people were killed. 
Oh wait, this isn't the thread I was looking for. Somebody linked this. I thought this was the one that showed all the other um, pictures of the other places that had been bombed. This one, hold on. Oh, this was the picture that I remember seeing. Yeah, it was this. In July of 2016, a truck bomb in Baghdad killed 350 people. This was the truck bomb in Baghdad. I'm, I shouldn't laugh, I'm sorry, this is horrific. But you can see the difference in explosive power. A truck bomb in Magadishu killed 500 plus in October of 2017. That was this truck bomb here. You can see the multiple destroyed buildings, right? In October of 2022, a truck bomb in Mogadishu killed 125. This is the damage that it did here. This is the damage from the bomb that was dropped by whoever dropped it here. It's just sparking a lot, I think. The vast majority of the damage is from fire. Only three cars show any clear sign of kinetic and structural damage. And for two of them, the general structure remains intact despite clear damage. But, yeah. I also want to say, um, this image is a leak from GTA 6, yeah. I also want to say something. Um, this is so important for you guys to understand this. It's so important, okay? It doesn't matter at all it doesn't matter at all what the fact of the matter is when it comes to early news reporting. Whether or not Hassan was wrong or right doesn't matter because a lot of you might feel vindicated because you're like, oh, Hassan was wrong, good, fuck him. Even if Hassan was correct, he was still reporting on this way too fucking early. Even if he was correct, you should feel just as disgusted about his reporting as you do now that he's incorrect, most likely, right? Just as a heads up, always remember, remember that, yeah. <clears throat> Do -do 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 -do. Hold up one sec. Israel levels apartment buildings with their bombs. I think the bomb used in the Oklahoma City bombing was around the same size as what is being alleged and took out half of the US federal building. This looks like rocket damage. You say, yeah, sure, okay. Um, yeah, can we block Hassan's embed? Please, dear God, don't give him more attention. I mean, he's got 50,000 plus viewers like riling everybody up on like what's actually just complete and total fake news. Not even fake news. Hold on. I just want you to be aware of the gravity of this because people are gonna forget. It's not that Hassan is doing fake news. It's that Hassan is, and it's not that Hassan is doing fake news propaganda. It's that Hassan is doing fake news propaganda from what is essentially a terrorist organization. It would be the equivalent of reporting something that ISIS says as fact without any third party independent verification. That's fucking wild, okay? Jesus. And then apparently people were starting to push him because I, I don't know, I guess later on in the night, it started to become clear that maybe he wasn't correct when he had his title of his stream, IDF bombs hospital kills 500 people. This was his fucking response. What the fuck? Twitch streamers? Brother, there is no reason for me to say Twitch streamers are stupid. You already know it. You watch Twitch. You know it. We're dumb as fuck. Myself included, okay? The fuck do you mean? If I was a smart person, I wouldn't be getting ritualistically humiliated by socially maladjusted freaks that are agoraphobic oh, nice. on a daily basis. Mel asked me earlier, she's like, why didn't they remove that thread? I was like, oh, I, I couldn't believe they didn't, but they did finally remove this one, yeah. Uh, Ella, okay, regardless of the personal communication, I'm sorry, LSF, I love you guys, but you guys are horrendously biased. I have no idea how you guys could let the Hassan charity LSF like dick suck thread stay up. 
when that was clearly of a political orientation and clearly violated your rules. But like anything else that goes up of him that is like even remotely negative gets taken down. Now, I don't know if Hassan like spams the LSF mods to take these down because he's like getting ass mad, maybe. But like, that's pretty insane that like, yeah, every single negative thing really, it, I don't know. I think it's crazy, but whatever. Maladjusted freaks that are agoraphobic on a daily basis in a mass harassment campaign online. But I do that for a living. And it's not you in here, or if you are one of those- Why is he acting like it's stupid to do that? You get paid millions a year to do this. Why are you acting like you're some fucking victim of this? Uh, 10 euros, I think? Did we and the left not learn from Kyle Rittenhouse or Jacob Blake that early reporting always ends badly? No, because these guys are never held accountable. Like, why would you- Remember, all you have to do to understand, like, human behavior, instead of, like, trying to draw these, like, complicated fucking, you know, psychoanalytical bullshit, blah, 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 just, like, look at the incentives. It's very easy. Where, what are the incentives, right? The incentives here are to report early and to report against the United States. And he gets rewarded for it crazily. Like, if you're wrong, who the fuck cares? Like, can you name somebody that got canceled for being incorrect about the reporting about, like, Jacob Blake? Or incorrect about the reporting about Kyle Rittenhouse? Like, literally nobody gives a fuck, you know? fucking freaks you know exactly who you are okay i will be outside having fun touching grass hanging out with my fucking family hanging out with my friends Have you heard the theory that Hamas stored weapons near the hospital and that's why the explosion was so big? Well, I don't think, um, <laughs> I don't think, I don't know. I truly don't know. I'm just fucking, I'm guessing out my ass right now, okay? But my guess is going to be that if propellant is spewed from like a rocket and it is inflamed, you could probably make quite a big like fireball like really quickly if you blow up like a bunch of propellant. That'd be my guess, which I, which I think I was reading is pretty consistent with what we saw, right? It was just like propellant is goes out, it explodes, and then boom, there's like a fireball, and that's it. Um, I don't think there needed to be like a munitions base or anything crazy uh, to explain any of that. Because the damage wasn't that crazy. Here is his reaction after claiming the right footage was not from this event for 30 minutes. <laughs> Wait, what? Hold on. Israel News, IsraelNationalNews.com. <laughs> the rest tracked it towards Jewish high school in Toronto. What is this? Is this news from Israel? Why are they? Okay. I don't know why I'm being like this, okay? If there's discrimination should happen, that's bad, but like, Jesus, okay? What is this? Synced video of the both Al Jazeera stream. Wait, no, this is a different Al Jazeera. Wait, what the fuck? People were people were sending videos that didn't look like this at all. Yeah. Wait, this is okay. This is from. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. The video had a first explosion earlier? Yeah, I don't understand. I will watch the Bassam Yusuf uh, video. In a like, look at these guys. Where, where was this guy in his chat? Hold on. That looks like a J-dam. Yeah, for sure, dude. Yeah, bro. You've seen all sorts of these missiles in action. You know exactly from dark footage where 85% of the screen is black. You know exactly what to look. Jesus. But anyway, good times.
Oh no, did Vosh have cringe takes as well? Another video from Al Jazeera. That, that, ju that does not look or sound like any Hamas rocket I have ever seen in any video footage. Bro, how many have you seen and looked at? Like, come on. Are, what, bro, where is the humility from these fucking guys? You really think you know what these things look like? I've seen so many gore videos and so many fucking missile blow. I don't know what any of this shit looks like, bro. You can show me some shit. And have, I wouldn't know if I'm looking at a fucking bomb or a trash can exploding. I have no fucking idea. Are these guys like spending, is this what they do? Maybe this is why they're all so uninformed on everything else. It's because they spend all of their time like reviewing military footage to see exactly what missiles and bombs look like when they go off. Like, I'm just not on their level. Wait, can somebody link me that one geo thread before the, the best one? I've got a, I got a friend that doesn't believe me. <laughs> Jesus. Embassy being attacked. US military data saying Palestine 30 minutes ago. Oh, sorry. Whatever, but like, whatever. There were no secondary explosions. There was no MO in that building. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. If, if it was an MO dump that got struck, like, yeah, if the narrative is that an MO dump got struck. Say hello to Lauren from me since you're talking to her right now. Who am I, why am I talking to Lo which Lauren? <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. What? Brock, like, all of this was like one big boom, right? Wait, did I just fuck this? Oh, shit, hold on. Whoops, sorry. Okay. Wait, please, work. People on the Vosh sub are begging people to stop concluding. <laughs> are they? Okay, I should be able to push my right arrow and just... Oh, why does it go all the way to the end? What's happening? That that just, that does not look or sound like any Hamas rocket I have ever seen in any video footage ever. But like, whatever. Hold on. Hello. Good one. Vosh wanted to call me to give me some more uh, context for this. There were no secondary explosions. There was no MO in that building. Oh yeah, that's a good point. If, if it was an MO dump that got struck, like, yeah, if the narrative is that an MO dump got struck, like all of this was like one big boom, right? Has anybody, did anybody credible even say an MO dump, dump was struck? Like, has anybody even reported that? I've been talking to lots of Jews in the US lately and their immigration opinions are, are now in Fuentes space. I'm sure it's similar in Canada. Okay. That was one boom. Like I've seen MO depots get targeted from um, the Ukraine war and- it Why does he call them MO depots? MO depots, MO depots. They're backing. You covered news about pro Hamas protests in London. Apparently, the BBC lied. If you can correct, lied how? Now, before we go, earlier on BBC News, we reported on some of the pro Palestinian demonstrations at the weekend. We spoke about several demonstrations across Britain during which people voiced their backing for Hamas. We accept that this was poorly phrased and was a misleading description of the pro-Palestinian demonstrations. Ah, uh, no, sorry. 
I saw videos, you're gonna have to show me some different shit about what was misleading. If you come out and you say like, go Palestine, bro, right after a terror attack, bro, we all know what you're doing. I'm not playing that game. That's fucking retarded, okay? Not everybody that supports Palestine is pro Hamas, but you gotta feel really fucking weird marching, you know, right after those attacks, you know? There's usually more like layering to the explosion. <laughs> more layering to the he's an explosive analysis expert msf international were horrified by the recent israeli bombing of ali arab hospital in gaza city which was treating patients and hosting displaced gazans okay so they're going with the idea that israel did this wait are they we are horrified by the recent... Oh, Israeli bombing. I'm sorry. There. I didn't see Israel. I was looking for IDF. Okay. They are. Damn. MSF. Isn't that um? Isn't that Doctors Without Borders? <laughs> Why? Why not just wait? It's so easy to wait for more information. Lonerbox had an excellent video reviewing Venturi's pro-Israel propaganda piece for the history of the region. It's relatively short, too. Maybe... Oh, $49.99. What are some of the best ways to sort through information in these instances regarding wars like this? There's a shit ton of misinformation. It's hard to keep up. Literally just wait, like, 12 hours. And then, like, generally the truth will kind of settle to the top if you care to look for it. MSF and Borders are similar, but not the same. Oh, okay. I thought MSF International. I thought that was Doctors of the Borders, but okay. Bailed rocket launches looking more and more like the culprit in the attack in the hospital. The video shows the impact of the moment, a few moments after an interception. The building burning and the videos in the hospital. Note the distinctive shape and solar panels in the roof. Line. FYI, I haven't seen a headline that doesn't indicate Gaza officials report or some stuff on the early stuff. Even fucking Al Jazeera. I thought I saw on Reuters. I thought they didn't have Gaza officials or Palestinian officials report in the headline. Check the early Reuters one. I'm curious. Maybe they did and I just missed that part or it scrolled off on my phone or something. Oh, wait, MSF is literally Doctors Without Borders in French. I don't know what that person is saying. They might still be right. Oh, never mind. Then. Okay, fuck them. So the argument they're making then is that it wasn't a failed Hamas rocket. It was like an interception that struck them. Would the interception have struck them that quickly? Wait, is the claim then that the interception literally struck them within like three or four seconds after? So if, if the claim... Oh, somebody emailed me, I think. It may also be a malfunction, a very convenient one. Ah, uh, okay. Like, because if people... Somebody, this is a Dan Crenshaw post on Instagram, and he screenshotted a Reuters tweet. The Reuters tweet, tweet says, Breaking, an Israeli airstrike killed hundreds of Palestinians at a Gaza City hospital crammed with patients and displaced people, health authorities and the besieged enclave said. I think that's a really bad tweet. That's probably, especially from Reuters. That's probably one of the worst tweets I've seen in my life. That's a really bad tweet. Well, from them. I mean, I've seen worse tweets, but Biden going live soon. Supermarket in Jerusalem. Yeah, tell me when. Vosh, this is misinfo. The new footage from the live stream happened at the exact same time the explosion happened. What? Then why did Israel post the fake videos? Okay, no, we're calling it right here. Wait, the video timestamp is wrong. It's 50 minutes after the bombing. Yeah, yeah, we just saw that. Yeah, those videos are fake. All right, I'm cutting it here. I'm cutting it here. I'm cutting it right here. I'm cutting it right here. My official ruling is that I have no way of definitely knowing what happened here. We will probably get more info soon. However, I genuinely believe that there is value in going over this live, if for no other reason than because it shows how much Israel, frankly, benefits from the fog of war that they have created. Israel cut power- How are they benefiting here? Wait, what? Has Israel benefited from any of this <laughs> since the invasion? Or ...and internet to Gaza deliberately in large part to stem the flow of information that could contradict them when they lie about their war crimes. I, by default, will disbelieve anything Israel says for the same reason I will disbelieve anything Russia says with regards to what's happening on the front. We know for a fact that they lie constantly. And what they're, what seems to have happened right now is fully in line with what the IDF has done historically. However, the world is... <laughs> okay, dude. Beheadings, bodies burned alive. Hamas committed atrocities 
that recall the worst ravages of ISIS, unleashing pure, unadulterated evil upon the world. There's no rationalizing it, no excusing it, period. The brutality we saw would have cut deep anywhere in the world, but it cuts deeper here in Israel. October 7th, which was sacred, a sacred Jewish holiday, became the deadliest day for the Jewish people since the holiday. Are you, um, are you at all starting to see the biased reporting on Israel during this war? Literally every independent creator is more likely to believe Hamas over Israel. Yeah, one of the things that's probably going to be really bad is in the future, like especially when it comes to West Bank stuff, how much more likely are people going to say like, oh, Israel's probably not doing anything bad in the West Bank because how many fucking lies were told in the actual ground invasion of Gaza, right? Like, or not ever. To those who are living in limbo, waiting desperately to learn the fate of a loved one, especially to families of the hostages, you're not alone. We're working with partners throughout the region, pursuing every avenue to bring home those who are being held captive by Hamas. God, he's so dumb. Even though I think it's incredibly unlikely that the hospital's bombed by Hamas or Islamic Jihad accidentally, it is funny to me that the IDF is basically saying only Israel gets to kill Palestinians and it's fucked up when anyone else does it. I like how he tries to spin this around. I like how he tries to spin this around to somehow become like Hamas is firing rockets from civilian areas that misfire and then kill people in hospitals. And somehow that's like Israel's fault. How do you have the gall to do this? Jesus. Chair sitting Shiva. The first Sabbath without them. They're the everyday things, the small things that you miss the most. The scent when you open the closet door. The morning coffee you shared together. Okay. I don't, I'm good on that. Supermarket in Jerusalem had no gluten-free flour on its shelves, but thankfully they allowed us to go into them. Is that an Israeli accent? <laughs> yes. For all intents and purposes, yes it is. Okay. And we found what we needed. We were able to continue our work for the day, but we knew that we wouldn't be able to get through the next without a lot more flour. We finished packaging. Like this... This is important. This is important. You want to know why this is important? Do I think that person is a bad person? Fuck no. I don't think that she's a bad person. She's such a careful and considerate person that she literally is like, oh man, I want to make sure that the fucking IDF guys have gluten-free cookies. Okay? Like that's the level of care and consideration she has. It's just that there is no care and consideration for Palestinians because they're not fucking people in her mind. Oh, what is this Mike tweet? I made a post in really bad taste offering a wage on the conflict with thousands of lives on the balance. I shouldn't have allowed my anger to get the better of me in the fog of war. I was making a $10,000 donation to support aid efforts in Gaza. <laughs> okay, dude. Didn't you post proof of it? What was this? Like, that's the level of fucking brainwashing that is occurring here, okay? A person that is literally, physically so goddamn close, like a stone toss away from some of the fucking worst atrocities that are happening on the planet right now, okay? On the planet right this very moment. And she is oblivious to that. Okay? She is so oblivious to that. It's crazy. Picking up all of the bags for the night and we just the supermarket in Jerusalem had no gluten free flour on its shelves, but thankfully they let us Like that's the le Okay. I hate these people. Oh, this Rob Rousseau guy. This guy is like an insane lefty dude. Every tweet I've seen from him has been horrible. <laughs> Thank you to the brave OSINT researchers sponsored by the NED and U.S. weapons manufacturers for getting to the bottom of this. Oh, so he's saying that all of the fact-checking or whatever, fact-checking on Twitter is basically a lie. So he just believes. Imagine just, like, believing Hamas. Like, without even, like, you just, like, believe them. Oh, what's up with, um... Has anybody ever seen an advertisement from, I think, Elon, Elon Musk? Does Google just like run complete and total fake ads now? I think there was a, um, I think I saw it was a crypto, it was like a crypto scam thing. Um, it was a crypto scam ad on, on, it was a YouTube, it was like a Google official Google ad on YouTube. And the guy was like, hello, I am Elon Musk. His name was like slightly different. And then it was like, obviously it was like an AI generated thing, but like Jesus with the fucking AI voices. Yeah, yeah, with an AI voice. This has been happening for years. Oh.
People use Joe Rogan too for those weird ads. Oh, I think I've seen a Joe Rogan one before. But. Louis Rossman with Futo made an open video platform for browsing media and merging media feeds into an easier to browse cohesive whole and having search functionality across multiple platforms. Gray J. Gray J is a video application that we want to be better than the stock application for any one of these platforms. Gray J is an application that has an open plugin interface. So here you can see that I have YouTube, Odyssey, and Twitch enabled. But if I wanted, I could add PeerTube, Kick, Rumble, Patreon, SoundCloud, and Nebula. And further, this is an open platform. We encourage you, if we are missing a platform here, to use our system to create your own plugin for the application. Has anybody used it yet? Is any good? Hassan Sub removes post showing hospital explosion having no crater, indicating it was not an IDF bomb within nine minutes of it being posted. Nice. Bosch joining on, on the joining the war of disinformation on the side of disinformation. Nice. What is this? Bosch reposted. The facade is crumbled. The charade is over. And nobody believes this. The entire world should know is barbaric terrorists in Gaza that attacked the hospital in Gaza, not the IDF. <laughs> okay. Nice. Based evidence demander. This is spam. Any reason all these political aren't being taken down? I am outraged, deeply saddened by the explosion, and the immediately upon hearing the news, I spoke with blah, 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 Jordan. Uh, my national security to continue gathering information about what exactly happened. Oh, evidence demander. Is this true? The explosion is in the parking lot. We, I think we already went over most of these posts. Yeah. Misinformation in this subreddit, a growing problem. Follow up schizo post, my initial post, post with vague, misleading, untruthful, and non source news, continue to point to the sub. An example of this is one of the top of voted threads yesterday. Oh, is this with the kids or whatever? On the memory card discovered in one of the GoPro cameras captured with a terrorist in Israel, these images of children dressed as Islamic Jihad's military wing members were discovered. I do agree that if you're making posts like this, I think you can post text under images now. I feel like there should be more image about where these come from, because it's pretty easy to just post shit like this and not um, it turned out true so it's fine though I mean no I think this did turn out true but I don't think it's still there should be more information posted we should <clears throat> hold ourselves to a higher standard right Posts like these are equally as harmful as blatant fake news. Even in the case of the above posts, while the allegations turn out to be more credible, the only reason we know this is because I bother doing the research. True. Uh, yeah, I don't know how we would flare like news posters. Brave Indian warrior taking a stand against Hassan. I'm sorry, but it's not nice to take some responsibility for literally amplifying a terror group's lies. Oof, do you think that guy was banned? <laughs> Watching my feed in regards to the hospital, I've been so blackpilling. IDF releases intercepted phone conversation between two apparent Hamas operatives discussing how it was a failed rocket from Gaza. This is kind of iffy, I guess. I don't know if this has been confirmed by anybody besides the IDF. Something that would be interesting to look up historically, or at least like in the past like 20 years, has Israel ever, um, has Israel ever like blatantly hardcore fucking faked shit like this before? I feel like that would be like a credibility check. <clears throat> Thoughts on people sawing out about this tweet by the Israel Twitter account? I feel like people are giggle overreacting to a cringy tweet. 
Oh, Contra points. She'll delete that soon. This is a struggle between the children of light and the children of darkness between humanity and the law of the jungle. Oh, I mean, they're at war. I mean, what do you want to say? I also don't think if you're Ukrainian, I don't think you should wish death on all Russians. But, like, I don't know if I would say that to a Ukrainian right now. I, don't, I mean, I don't know if I have a right to tell them. But published nine years ago. Jeez. more meme more dumb shit this this mic tweet was unhinged ben shapiro i will wager you ten thousand dollars of the struggle in the hospital we've ruled to be an idf strike will you accept if you ever want to know like what to believe in just like the opposite of whatever fucking mike is willing to tweet about or bet on is probably a safe bet jesus There's one of an Arab woman that was critical of your coverage, similar vein as Q, but since they're not openly a Hamas supporter, more sane. There's one of an Arab woman that was critical of your, wait, I don't know who, one what, like a thread that I missed? One example is when the IDF had to do a major walkback was when a journalist got killed and they denied it was them at first pretty vehemently, but independent investigation showed it was an IDF bullet that killed a journalist. Mike from PA, PA stands for Palestine. Golden Hassan clip. The Palestinian girl from Rebel News video that was wearing AK earrings got fired. Oh, Rip, the one that was insane, yeah. Like, ultimately, even if it wasn't Israel that bombed this hospital, which I do maintain it is, okay? But even if it wasn't, okay, 500 of the last confirmed kills did not come from Israel. So what, are you just mad? Well, where is the 500 confirmed kills? We don't know that yet either. <laughs> Only when Hamas kills people then? Because that's what you're saying at that point. You know what I mean? You're saying literally, I do not care when Israel kills someone. I only care when Hamas kills someone. That's basically what you're saying. You're like, Palestinians, Israelis, I don't give a shit if Israel kills them. I only care if I suspect it's Hamas. Because like, if you're going to get mad and be like, pfft, Dude, I can't believe the counter rocket barrage from the Hamas teams on the ground actually caused these 500 people to die in the fucking hospital. Then what the fuck are you saying? What about the 3,000 people that died? Update, I've been monitoring the situation. Oh, this is recently, I think. And talking to people right now, the blast radius in the daylight seems inconsistent with a JDAM Mark 84 Israeli missile. However, given the IDF's track record on this issue of bombing and blaming, I will wait for third-party investigation to be conducted. Even Hill and the WAPO forensics team, or ICC. <laughs> Bro. Okay, what is this? Are there really people that don't think a hospital was even struck? The hospital was not struck. That's basically confirmed, unless there's like another hospital that nobody has pictures of. But no, no hospital was struck. It was a hospital parking lot. And it seems like some cars were destroyed. But it's, there was no, there is no, from what I've seen, and from no one has posted, there's been any structural damage to the hospital. There was like, a hospital was not struck. Just to be transparent from the jump, I'm an Arab-American woman. For a long while, I've stayed out of the whole Israel-Palestine Palestine debacle. I'm very critical of news that comes out on either side, given the bias propaganda from both sides. But recent events have made it 
So it's impossible to not see a 4K POV of every horrible death. Like any person with a beating heart, the horrific events of October 7th reduced me to tears and left me feeling empty and honestly emotionally depressed and numb for a while. Then I started seeing the images of Gaza, people who look like me or my mom or my sister or my father clutching the dead bodies of their loved ones. I don't know all the dead bodies, all the blown out heads and bloodied carcasses. Images that have been coming out of Palestine for decades. Mothers crying as they clutch at the pieces of their children and fathers ripping off their shirts out of frenzied grief. It's taken a toll on me mentally. <clears throat> okay, here's where is this? And here's where I have to call out Destiny. He made some offhand comments about, yeah, what's happening to Palestinians is not that cool, but where's the coverage? The far-right government of Israel has a powerful propaganda machine. The government there has long been painting Arabs as savages, as subhuman, and I can't help but feel like it's working. Why is this not talking about what's going on in Gaza? It feels like willful ignorance. It feels like brainwashing. He posted it. Okay, I haven't been checking because, one, I legitimately haven't even been doing the news. I haven't covered the idea of, like, ground invasion at all, Okay. Number one. Number two, I don't even think I really covered that much of like the dead, uh, the dead Israel shit. I feel like if anything, most of my coverage about the Israeli stuff was usually saying like, hey, there probably weren't a bunch of 40 beheaded babies. I don't think that was the case. I think that was like the biggest statement I made. I haven't really been covering much of the violence. I don't think on either side, other than like giving you an update on like the Israeli death toll, I think. Um, he posted about checking on your Jewish friends, but had a whisper about the Palestinian six-year-old that was stabbed to death because of the hate that I'm instead of given recent events. I, the six-year-old stabbed to death was sad. That was a weird situation. I read that story. It was like a 72-year-old landlord that attacked a Palestinian woman and baby. That's tragic, assuming that it played out. The cops said that they that it was because of the Israeli. But also, I don't even know when this happened. I don't think I don't think this story happened before my last stream. Like, didn't this story happen like one or two days ago? I haven't even streamed since then, right? Like, obviously, it's not good either. Um, why the silence when innocent civilian blood is shed by the thousand Palestine, but the uproar when it's shed in Israel? Why not protest against both? I mean, I would. I haven't seen, like, widespread demonstrations attacking um, Arab people or whatever. If that's happened, I would condemn it. Maybe I just haven't seen it on my news feed. But, um, yeah, I, I just haven't seen it. But, I mean, yeah, if there's, like, Jewish people or a bunch of people, like, chanting, like, fuck Palestinians or fuck Israel. Or not fuck Israel, I'm sorry. Fuck Palestinians or fuck Palestine. Then, I mean, I would be against that, too. I just haven't seen those as much. If, the, if it's there and I see it, I'll say something. Maybe it's just my particular news feed, but... Everything fucking sexy. I'm writing this a bit of a center. My lashes are wet with tears. Am I right? Or am I wrong to feel hurt? Am I... Wait, I... Am I right or wrong to feel hurt, abandoned by my friend's unequivocal support of Israel? I tried to look up to Stefan as a fair arbiter. I've trusted his judgment, thus, but now I feel like he's biased. Where's the humanity? Where's the compassion? Where's the equal and fair coverage? <laughs> okay, this person's just retarded. I don't care. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> How about 800 dead in an airstrike on a hospital that you are denying? Is that happening? Wait, another airstrike? Are you repeating the fake one that we've already gone through that only had 500 initially reported? <clears throat> They're attacking your separate because it's the only leftist separate that's not pro-Hamas. I mean, I'm sure the woman could have legitimate feelings. I mean, it's po it's probably possible if you were a neutral observer and you went through my Twitter feed, it's probably possible you would come away thinking that I'm pretty pro-Israel because I think most of the stuff I've been calling out and has been like huge misinformation on the um, on, on the other side. So it's, I, I, I like I wouldn't deny that's impossible, but I mean, like it would just be like selective coverage. I'm not like I don't think I've said I don't think I've ever like champion to killing Palestinians. And I've said the opposite as much. Like, obviously, any um, civilian deaths are not good and everything. Yeah, but I don't know. I keep sending you links to that stuff in chat, but I haven't seen you cover anything like that. If it's if it's stuff that's like an active, ongoing, like, invasion or whatever, I, I don't even, I haven't read through any of that yet at all. Nothing. I don't even know if they have invaded yet. Um, like, I've gone through, I think I've clicked most of the Twitter stuff that I see people linking me, but no, I haven't gone to like any of the actual or if they're getting ready to do that yet. Um, they just want you to cry, bro. Yeah, true. Will you do a post-mortem of all this shit? I thought about writing like a mini manifesto about like all the news coverage, especially like the big like streamers and people online because it's been pretty fucking insane. So, yeah. Full footage from TASS. What is TASS? No impact craters, interior spaces appear to be intact. Injuries from flying grass, glass appear to have occurred. Desi, have you seen All Quiet on the Western Front 2022? I have not. What are your thoughts on anti-war media in general and in relation to current events? I, think, I mean, it's, we have a lot of pro-war media. I think anti-war media is fine. Do what you want. Russian state media. Tool-assisted super speed run. 
Are there any independent sources confirming the Hamas human shield theory? I mean, I, we can do more like dedicated reading when we get back, but my understanding is even Hamas doesn't deny that. It's not like a secret. Like nobody denies that Hamas uses human shields, but I'm pretty sure they feel fully justified in doing it. They say as much. So I, I, don't, I don't know when this became like a thing to deny that this thing never happened or, or doesn't happen. I don't, I don't know. So yeah.